Here's something interesting that you might have never thought about. Toilet reading today versus 40 years ago. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little off the beaten path blog, vlog subject today. And it's toilet, toilet reading basically. And no one really likes to talk about or admit that they read on the toilet. And I would have to say probably men are the majority of the people that spend a little bit more time reading on the toilet. But I want to talk about something that's uh, I think kind of interesting here. It's today versus 40 years ago or so in the 70s versus now. Back in the day, we didn't have technology and we would read articles, uh, books, uh, magazines, uh, comics. And myself in particular, we would read like comic books. My brother had a million comic books and like, here's one, it's the Berenstains. They're the authors of the Berenstain Bears. But we'd read these little uh, pocket books, I guess they were called, these Bantam books. They were like 60 cents back in the day. I don't remember when these were bought, but 60 cents for these little books. And you'd read them. They're like little cartoons and all sorts of fun little things. And you'd flip through it and you'd, you'd, you'd just find one. You never left the books in the bathroom. If you were single, you might have, but we weren't single. We were living with a family. But we'd read these little books in the magazine. We also have Mag Magazine. This is a modern Mag, Mag, Mag Magazine, but my oldest brother subscribed to Mad Magazine and has every issue. I should sell them on eBay. I could probably make a, a mint. He has every issue since day uh, issue one on these things. You'd read books and magazines and comics and fun things. Kids would do that. F the funny thing is, if you ever had the <laughs> emergency and you had to go to the bathroom, you had nothing to read while you're squirting one out there, you would read the ingredients on shampoo bottles. You just needed something to read. This, I swear to you, this is, I cannot be the only one that did that. So I think that's pretty funny. You just wanted to read something to get your mind off of uh, just seeing the same old bathroom every time you just had something to read. You know, I guess something happened one day, you know, over, over time here, technology came in. I, I don't know if I ever brought my flip phone into the bathroom and texted people. That was, there was not enough, uh, I guess, text there to uh, read. It was just, you'd be waiting for someone to text you back. I, I don't know. There was something that happened, I guess, in the, I guess, late, uh, 90s or whenever the iPad came out or the late 2000s when the iPad came out and they started with all these games I was guilty of this I'll admit it I had my iPad uh, we had several iPads I had my iPad in the bathroom and I would uh, I would play games uh, and these games were easy to play that you could finish a level in a couple minutes and you get to the next level and most games uh, these days have something called gamification, leveling up, where you would, uh, every game you would play, you would get a little bit higher in your level and you'd be get closer to the next level. And I remember sitting on the bathroom uh, toilet for quite a while, uh, just say, hey, I only have three more games to play on this gem game or whatever game I was playing to get to the next level. And I remember sitting on the toilet sometimes way too long that my legs would fall asleep. Several years ago, I, I realized that that was a problem. I said, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I, I sold all my iPads, started reading books again. I read, I don't know, a hundred books uh, in a short period of time. And all, all these great authors, not just garbage reading either, but psycholo psycho psychology, philosophy, and uh, some politics, but not not kind of the politics you're thinking about, but more true history and stuff like that. And that, that was it. It was... Uh, I think most people read their tablets or their phones in, in the bathroom these days. And I have to say, during this period where from the time I got rid of the iPads and was reading books, something's happened. This, the technology has crept back up. I allowed it. I am now, since, especially since the crisis started, I've been reading a lot less books. And I've been more, uh, I guess, obsessed with just being on my phone. Part of it's a uh, stock. I check my stocks. I have a little casino game on there. And it's just bad. It's kind of creeping up. I'm not using a tablet in the bathroom. I use my little LG phone here. I shouldn't bring my phone to the bathroom. And I think we're going to try and reverse that trend again and get back into reading the books that we have uh, bookmarked. I have probably like half a dozen or more books that I have to finish. And, but I don't know. Well, what do you think? What do you do? It depends on your age. I'm sure older people will understand uh, what has happened in the last uh, 30 years or so. But younger people who are, let's say, half my age may have never read a real book 
or a magazine or a comic or something fun in the bathroom while they took care of business. So what do you think? If you like this video, please hit the bell and the subscribe and all that, and we'll talk about something fun again soon. Thank <laughs> you.